What's up, YouTube? Birdman here with another Outriders video. Today, we're going to be ranking the four Devastator sets and letting you know what is the best one, what is the not as best one, and also making a special announcement for a new partner with the channel. Now, before I get into that, know that I'm more likely streaming over on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash birdman778. Catch me every single day starting at noon Eastern Standard Time. Twitch has been really funky lately, so the best way that you can really help support the channel is giving that thumbs up on this video, subscribing to the channel, and also possibly becoming a member. We're more likely going to be swapping over to YouTube here soon just because again Twitch is just being absolute crap for us especially going in the new year with all the changes YouTube is getting so again make sure you're doing those things and also find me over on you uh, Twitter twitter.com slash birdman 778 for some super subpar tweets and bad takes catch me halfway through the video to find out our special announcement now let's get right on into it First up on the list at number four is going to be the Marshall set. Now the Marshall set is really cool because it has uh, cool abilities like high intensity, despair, double jump, and wide horizons where you're able to take big advantage of grabbing a bunch of mobs in a certain area, pulling them together, and then inflicting them with a lot of anomaly damage. Whether that's with your double jump using gravity leap, uh, flicking them with the despair, um, using endless mass as it is, and comboing it with another ability such as like boulder dash or earthquake. This is really great for those anomaly builds uh, and kind of takes you away from just having to use the inflict bleed to do a lot of damage builds that uh, Devastator has been kind of known for since day one. Um, Marshall set at first really wasn't all that amazing uh, for Devastator, but with changes that have progressed with the character over time uh, and just bounces in the game in general, it has gotten a whole lot better. It's a whole lot of fun for like support builds, stuff like that, uh, if you are interested in uh, doing a whole lot of like team play. But I think one of the biggest things that it kind of falls back on is the fact that it relies so heavily on endless mass. The Marshall set as it is is essentially just an armored version of the ultimate damage link mod uh, that you can find off of like the voodoo matchmaker uh, as a legendary weapon. Um, ultimate damage link reach shots link up to four enemies sharing 40 percent of the weapon damage and 20 percent of anomaly damage and then the marshall set endless mass pulls enemies causes for them to share 40 percent anomaly damage and 30 percent weapon damage so again it's exactly the same thing um, but just in its own different form so that's really cool because you can use anomaly weapons uh use your like your moaning winds um your ultimate damage whip your uh kinetic stomp with this ability you can get a lot of damage out of it but again uh, having to rely solely on endless mass so much I think kind of hurts it um, especially when it comes to like elite style enemies where uh, you're inflicting them with something and once you inflict them you're not able to do it again for a certain amount of time that really kind of holds the character back if you if you get stun locked in between there and you lose the effect then you're kind of stuck uh, and immediately are kind of in a weird place now again I still think this is a super awesome set we actually have a recent build on this so make sure you're checking that out at number three for this ranking, we're gonna go with the statue set. Now the statue set is a super awesome firepower based uh armor set where it reads while uh, tremor or golem is active increase weapon damage by 100 percent and weapon leech by 100 percent for you and your teammates now this is really great if you're looking for that just like high damage high intensity gameplay uh that devastator has really been able to show in recent months a um, bunch of different updates that they've had to the game has really benefited this but uh with statue set it's it's benefited the most just because firepower builds are actually viable for devastator now um using golem and uh Tremor at the same time is really great because you're going to get some of your highest uh, firepower bonuses uh, humanly possible. Um, and also just the fact that you're just going to be kind of become this like absolute tank you're going to be getting healing from tremor and also just for that insane damage resistance from golem now the reason why this is at number three is the fact that the set itself is so inconsistent um a lot of times when it comes to the golden part of the set it doesn't continue to stay active long enough um even if you have like uh, uh golem of death on where it increases duration uh perseverance stuff like that it doesn't sometimes stack and keep going uh so you're essentially left at a point where you have golem up and you're just kind of having like kind of this flimsy firepower build going on at the same time uh luckily you're able to get tremor active enough that it's able to do that and you're also able to combo with things um in the pants category like primal chain gun where it's going to give you a little bit of that weapon damage whenever you use your boulder dash boulder dash has become kind of one of those 
uh, pivotal skills for firepower builds. Uh, so it's pretty applicable for uh, this set, for statue set, but it's also probably the most for death proof, but we'll get to death proof eventually, obviously. Uh, but when it comes to statue again, just the inconsistencies with the entire set itself has kind of put it down. I would honestly put this at number four if the damage numbers that it provides weren't just so mind boggling uh, and how just like smooth the gameplay can be. But unfortunately, this set uh, just gets dropped to number three because the second that you get staggered, uh, get knocked back, something like that, you're kind of immediately back at stage one and kind of having to figure out, okay, waiting on my cooldowns to, to reactivate so that I'm able to get that damage flowing again. Now it's time to announce our new partner. If you were being uh, observant enough, you probably saw this sitting here this entire time. And yes, we are now partnered with G Fuel. Starting on December 20th until December 27th, you can get 30% off using code BIRD at checkout. Uh, you get 10% off regardless after that during those certain times, but make sure you're watching out for those 30% off times. Those BOGO sales on tub stuff like that, always make sure you're using code BIRD at checkout. Uh, guys, this is seriously one of the best partnerships for us to humanly have. I have loved G Fuel since the first day uh, that I tried it. Sour Chug Rack and Sour Cherry are my two favorite flavors, and I'm so excited for all the different flavors you're gonna be sending me here soon to review and try out over on my Twitch channel, and I'll be making sure to give reviews over here on YouTube as well. Again, guys, code BIRD at checkout for 30% off from December 20th until December 27th. Uh, again, and after that, 10% off. Big thanks to the homies at G Fuel and big thanks to you guys, the community, for making this possible. You guys watch my videos, they notice me, and then we get awesome partnerships like this. So guys, thank you so much again. Coming in at number two is gonna be the death proof set. Now this might be a shock to a lot of you because you guys see me using the death proof set all the time, but uh, I like to say that this is a ranking of all time uh, for these uh, for these armor sets. So death proof kind of started the game off pretty awful. Just having a 90% cooldown to boulder dash really didn't do a whole lot for us. Uh, just purely out the fact that yes, we were kind of relying on primal chain gun a lot. Um, it was able to do a lot of good damage for us, but at the same time, we just weren't having enough survivability with the class. Uh, really having to deal with like going down a lot. So um, it just really didn't do all that well. But on the new Horizon update, they made it that it increases the firepower by 15% of your armor as well. Now, having other abilities on this class like Primal Armor and Primal Chain Gun actually just just made this build mind boggling uh, because of the fact that you're able to increase your armor so much that you increase your survivability, but you're also, in fact, also increasing your firepower at the same time. Uh, and just comboing different weapons uh, and different other mods in this as well, things like Death's Door, uh, and if we go over to uh, the boots over here, things like uh, Mitigation from Death have helped out a whole hell of a lot. Uh, being able just to absolutely spike your armor to obscene heights, um, which again, turns into firepower now this is also just a phenomenal build because of the fact that you're able to just abuse 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 boulder dash as much as you want uh constantly running around increasing primal chain gun increasing your armor and just being an absolute tanky firepower unit um, again, I would probably put this at number one if it didn't start off so awful at the beginning, uh, but at the same time, it, this is absolutely probably the most meta set right now for any Devastator trying to do firepower builds. Last but not least, we obviously have the Seismic Commander set. Now, you notice with all these sets, I've had different looks to them just because I love the transmog in Outriders, uh, but at the same time, this is seriously probably the best set, period, flat, doesn't matter. Uh, from day one, this has been the most coveted set, and to this point in time, it's still something that I'm seeing on everyone's uh, Devastators whenever they come play uh, viewer games with us over on Twitch. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, the fact that we're able to get that 50% extra bleed damage on enemies is so huge. Uh, purely off the fact that uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy is, we are going to get that 50% extra damage. So essentially things like Captain Hunter can go out the door. You can just focus solely into bleed damage on enemies and not have to worry about that extra little bit of damage. Uh, it's also really great because it just really flows well with anomaly based builds. Again, anomaly is based uh, off of your skills. So that's gonna be anything like earthquake, boulder dash, stuff like that, your status power. So with devastator, that's bleeding damage and just in general skills, which also counts as your main Melee. So you have some of the most versatility with this class, uh, just purely based off your skills, but also going into like the weapon wise, we got things like the Thunderbird where it has ultimate storm whip. We're able to kind of scale up that ultimate storm whip with that because of just the fact that it's based off anomaly damage. This isn't the 
culminated anomaly damage build for Devastator. And again, like I said, from day one, it's been number one. Uh, I, I reluctantly still put this at number one just because Deathproof set has proved itself to be so incredibly viable. But if you're looking for like this, like the most survivability, uh, being able to uh, solo CT15 any content, um, essentially the Seismic Commander set is going to be your bread and butter. Um, the fact that you're able to inflict bleed on enemies and just like life leech the, the hell out of them. Um, the fact that you're able to inflict bleed then that does extra damage. And just the fact that you're able to flow through all your skills in such a wonderful fashion just makes this the best set humanly possible. Thank you so much for stopping by this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this ranking system uh, that we did for all the different Devastator sets. Again, Seismic Commander set is number one, number two is Death Proof, then Statue set, and then Marshall. Now, we have Statue and Marshall at the bottom there. It doesn't mean that they're bad sets. Uh, again, Marshall's a really great support. Flow build with Endless Mass. Statue's are really great for just high-end damage, keeping yourself alive. Uh, unfortunately, both those just suffer from niche skills. So Marshall, depending on uh, Endless Mass and Statue set, depending on cooldown, but then when you got the death proof set and then the seismic commander set just how chunky they are they, they absolutely deserve to be on those top two spots so um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys buying some g fuel oh my gosh again code bird at checkout from december 20th till december 27th i love you guys you guys have made this humanly possible i love you love you love you, you guys are amazing all right guys have a great night day or whatever it may be